Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You saw how I always set up my RK 1UP cabinets in this particular fashion, so um, I'm here to show you. Just a little disclaimer, before we begin, this is strictly for educational purposes. Although setting this up is foolproof, I take no responsibility if you decide to venture out and mess with other Android settings within your cab. So, you know, play it safe. If you see a setting within Android that you are not familiar with, don't mess with it. It will save you a lot of heartache in the long run. Trust. Now, let us begin. These are the exact tools that I use for my cabs. If you don't have them already, the links to where to get them will be in the description below. First up, the Sabrent 4 port USB 2.0 Data Hub. No frills, no thrills, just a simple plug and play USB port that has light up buttons basically to let you know which port is being used at the time. Very useful, very helpful. Here we have the Easy Tone Backlit Mini Wireless Keyboard Touchpad Mouse Combo. <sighs> okay. <laughs> A lot of people like to use the keyboard and mouse, and um, this just kind of takes the hassle of plugging in multiple USB points to um, the USB port. So, this is like very handy because it's, of course, light, small. You don't have to really lug a large keyboard around. Not knocking anybody. Just saying it's convenient. <laughs> and finally we have the SanDisk 32 gigabyte USB flash drive 2.0. Now I'm pretty sure you can use a smaller flash drive for this particular task. This is just what I had on hand and it worked fine. So you could definitely get something smaller. It should be usable. Okay. We now have the hardware, you'll now need the software or rather APKs to complete this task. And no, I will not provide free paid app links. Google is your friend, it's not hard to find I'm sure, but I will provide the links for the free versions. Now also, I'm going to assume that you've downloaded the theme, that link is also in the description below, with the power of the internet going ahead to the Simpsons Arcade 1UP and show you how to complete this task. Let's go. Once you've downloaded the files in the description below, you'll need to make an apps folder on your flash drive to place all your apps in that folder. Also make a pics folder so you can store all the downloaded pics in that folder as well. While your cab is off, plug in the USB hub in the USB slot of your Simpsons cab Make sure that the flash drive and the wireless keyboard are plugged in and then turn on your cabinet. While on the game selection screen, to bring up the Android menu on your wireless keyboard, you'll want to hold down the Windows key and press the N button. Once you see the navigation slash status screen, you'll want to pull down the quick selection and click on the gear icon. On the following screen, you'll want to go to storage and select your flash drive. Once you select your drive, it should open with the default file explorer. Thereafter, go into your apps folder and install EX File Explorer first. You'll see a warning, but ignore it, hit continue, then open it. In EX File Explorer, click on the SD card. That's your flash drive. Then go into the apps folder once again and install the rest of the apps and click on done. Do not hit open because you still need to be in EX File Explorer at the moment. While still in ES, go into the pics folder, double tap, hold down on the second tab on any picture, select all, then copy. At the very top of the screen, click the tiny home icon, it's very hard to see, but it's up there. To go back to the main screen of the ES File Explorer and then go to Internal Storage, then Pics folder, and then paste the Pics files in that folder. To get to Nova Launcher, you have to go back to the main page of ES File Explorer, click on Apps, 
select Nova Launcher and you'll be on the home page of Nova Launcher. Once you're on Nova Launcher, your screen will be black. To change the wallpaper, pull down the navigation, select the gear tool, then on the following page, you will hit display, and then select wallpapers. From there, what you would do is select EX File Explorer, select the picture, then on the following screen you resize it. In most cases, you'll just have to resize from the sides. And just be accurate with it. Make sure you get it as far close to the edge as possible so you won't have to redo this part again. It's not really a problem though, so. <laughs> Once you finish, exit out, all the way back out, and you'll see that your wallpaper is now on top of the black screen. As you can see here, I already have the icons made into the wallpaper. So right now, I'm about to show you how to place certain icons on top of the design and make them invisible. So the first thing you want to do is pull up your app drawer. Let's take uh, File Explorer, ES File Explorer for example. Drag it, double click, hold the second click and drag it. Then place it on top of that folder icon like you see here. The struggle is real. Okay, now that we have that, we have to make that file invisible. So you double click, hit the little pencil icon to edit, erase ES File Explorer, then click the folder icon, <clears throat> select gall Gallery Apps, ES File Explorer once again, and select the blank picture. Once you click on it, it'll ask you to resize, which you don't need to. Just click done. Then you have to uncheck that reshape box so it doesn't leave a shape behind. And then once you click done or finish, boom, it's gone. It's there, but it's gone. Now, if you like, you can test it out. All you have to do is just tap on it. As you can see, it opens up. So, let's focus on the GIF now. Okay. In order to do the GIF, what you need to do is pull up or well, double tap on the screen. Scroll down to your widgets. Wait till you get to GIF widget. Get in there. Double tap and hold on the second tap and drag it somewhere. Now, find your GIF file. This is why I told you to basically move the pics into the pic folder. Click on the pic. Wait for it to load up. It'll load up in crappy quality. So once it loads up, hit high and then just wait doesn't take long once it's there hit create and there you go so now you just drag your gif to that spot nice okay we're going to now focus on the arcade one-up buttons what you're going to need to do is pull up your widget drawer just like before but this time, once you pull it up, you focus on activity. You see that right there? Double tap and drag, same way you did before with the GIF widget. Just drag it. Now, on the following screen, you would click Arcade One Up and then select the secondary option. Once you click that, that's pretty much it. 
Now all you have to do is just place it right above the play now button. Once you do that, then you do the same thing you did with EX File Explorer, edit the icon, erase the word, then click the icon, once again, Gallery Apps, and then EX File Explorer, and once again, the blank pick. Done. Okay. I mean, or hit okay. Of course, I check reshape and hit done. Bam. Again, it's gone, but it's there. So, pretty much, it looks like it may be difficult to do, but once you start doing it, it'll just come natural. It's just like a phone, it's just that you're dealing with a screen that you can't navigate with your fingertips. But yeah, that's pretty much the base the gist of it all of it yeah <laughs> well there you have it you have a nice new arcade one up screen navigation screen basically for your arcade one ups and your emulators just make sure you unplug that keyboard and mouse so you will not have that error message in the beginning with that being said this is sketch I'm out uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I have one more favor to ask of you. Do me a solid and do this for me.